learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. As I told you yesterday, I had to go to the license office to get a new driver's license. As expected, it never goes smoothly. Well, now with the pandemic, they're only serving one customer at a time. So you stand outside until they're ready to call you, then they come out and they call you. Now they have four people in the building that only one person is working. So they have you stand outside and you wait 20 minutes per customer probably. Now you can't go in as a couple, you have to go in individually. And it's in direct sunlight. So here, it was 91 degrees when I was at the license office no breeze on hot concrete with the pavement right next to you sun full blast and there was a 90 year old woman in front of me you know they didn't have any special privileges for senior citizens where they come in early or anything they didn't have that you would think maybe they would hire one of those folks that was standing behind the counter not doing anything to maybe come in early and serve senior citizens but it gave me a chance to go visit my mother which i've been telling you forever now that we were going to go visit my mother and i wanted to pick up my other chainsaw so i want to explain this the other day i told you i talked to my neighbor about cutting down some dead trees that he's got sitting right next to the road and these things are massive so to give you kind of a scale i don't want to go back up there i don't want to be trespassing all the time just so i can show you the the trees this is probably one of the smallest of the three trees that he gave me the, the other one's probably maybe double this size and the problem with that one is it's the most dead and it's leaning towards the road so i've been doing a ton of research on how to safely land these trees and i've learned a lot and i've been really thinking about this you got to go to school you got to learn how to do it you got to learn how to you know one of the first things they said is get to know your chainsaw well i've spent quite a bit of time getting to know my chainsaw i've spent all spring well last several months with my new ryobi chainsaw Cutting up deadfall, learning how to operate it, learning about kickbacks, and I've been studying almost daily a chainsaw operation, how to maintain a chainsaw, how to cut trees, and I've learned a, a lot. For example, I can tell you now how tall a tree is. I learned how to find out how tall a tree is. It's, it's actually not that difficult. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to demonstrate it very well, but essentially what you do is you take a stick. Just any old stick. So here's my stick. And what you do is you hold the stick next to your eyeball. So like this. And you reach out with, with your hand. You just flip it over. So this is the portion of the stick we're going to use now. That should reach my eye. And so now what you got to do is you lower the stick. Okay, you keep the stick straight them down. And you lower the stick to the base of the tree. And if the tree is taller than the stick, as you can see here, it's hard for me to do it on camera, I'm doing everything backwards, then you know that you need to back up some more. And so you back up and you back up and you back up until you get the stick to the same height as the tree up here. Once that happens, then you can just simply say, okay, that's where the top of the tree, if I were to cut the tree now and it falls down, that's where the top of the tree would land then you can just measure, if you want to know the actual length, from the spot you were standing at to the tree. It's a great trick, and I've learned all kinds of little tricks like this. It's going to make things so much easier. I actually learned it from Huxvarna. Huxvarna is the one that taught me how to do this, and I'll put a link to that video down here. It's kind of a long video, and if you're not into chainsaws or anything. But now in the meantime, I needed to get some equipment that all the experts are talking about. And so I was just going to have to make the investment. Now, the first thing that I needed was a better chainsaw. And this one is uh, the one I bought just, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. Yeah, it's a Ryobi, and I, I love this thing. Starts up really easy. It doesn't have a lot of power, but it's really good for cutting branches and, and uh, making logs out of trees. It's lightweight, easy to carry around uh, for a little guy like me. But more importantly, the most important thing about this thing, it has a short chainsaw blade. 14 inches. The reason that's important is because of kickback. The longer your blade is, the more likely you're going to hit something and it's going to kick back. If you hit like something and, and it runs up and can get you right into your head like this. 
So the shorter the blade, the less likely you're gonna hit things. You're not having to watch out for rocks in front of you because the blade's probably not gonna reach the ground. And, and so I really like the little short blade. It's very safe. But that being said, this chainsaw is not gonna cut a very big tree. The max diameter of a tree it can cut is 28 inches, and that's assuming I cut one side and then cut the other side. Now, I've told you that I have a chainsaw at my mother's house, and so fortunately I was able to go to my mother's house, and I was able to pick up my other chainsaw. This thing I've had since like 2002. It's a Poland is what it is, a Poland wild thing. They don't even make these anymore. I bought it because I had two oak trees in front of my house that I needed to get down. I called the electric company and they took the branches out of the tree so I could safely cut the tree down with my dad's help. And so I used it that one summer and that was the last time I ever used it. So it really is kind of like a brand new saw. It's just been sitting around. But I will tell you, it's not a very good saw. It's hard to start, much harder than the Ryobi. But this one, you, the instructions, I mean, it's just loaded with instructions. Prime six times, full choke, pulls five times, half choke, pull some more, and then try it over again. Well, that's all great, except it takes a long time for this saw to warm up. With the Ryobi, I can start it up, instantly start cutting, set it down, it'll sit there and idle. With the Polen, I can start it up, cut something, set it down in a die. You gotta run it nearly 10 minutes before it's warmed up enough that it will actually idle. I adjusted the idle, and it's not the idle, it's just, it's always been that way. So, but that's okay. The, the key to this is it has a longer blade and it's got more power. So this will be great just for cutting trees down. I won't use it for much else. Cutting trees down, big trees, and any logs that I need to cut so I don't have to do a double cut with the little Ryobi. I'll use this. That being said, I don't think the this one's got much life left in it. I know it's, it's never been hardly used, but... So that is going to really help me, according to the experts, having a longer blade, which I agree. I mean, that, that's going to really make things a lot easier. Now, another thing they said they've got to have is wedges. Now, wedges, what they do is when you do the face cut of your tree, you do a face cut where you make kind of a wedge slice and then you come to the back side and you cut into what's called back cut. And so the back cut has this little cut, just the width of your blade of your chainsaw. And so in order to keep the tree from falling backwards, you use these wedges. You slam these wedges into that crack. A lot of people say there's an either or to this whole thing. Either you use wedges or you use a rope and you pull the tree. Well, I'm thinking of doing both, and I'll get to that in a minute. But so these wedges are pretty handy, but the thing is I also had to get a something to put them into the tree. So I bought this uh, little six pound ax that has a sledgehammer on the back of it, so it's dual purpose. It was only $20. So, so far I'm up to 30 bucks to make this work. So I'll be able to use this to you know, split some wood that's not that's easily split, and then I'll be able to use the wedges to push that tree over. I also got myself some safety glasses. I know a lot of folks are really concerned about safety glasses, so I've got myself some safety glasses. I know a lot of people are going to say, just tie a rope to the back of your truck and pull these trees down. Now, imagine that this tree here is one of the trees. It's in front of all this wooded area. I'm gonna have to land the tree in the wooded area. It's gonna land fine because these are a lot of little saplings. I don't even think I'll damage many of them. And if I do, that's fine because these need to be thinned out anyways. These are, these, that's, that's pretty thick. Now that's my neighbor's property, you know, where the tree is is where the neighbor's property is. Well, I can't get my truck down in the woods to pull it down in the woods. That's just, it's not even gonna work. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna buy myself a come along and a, a hundred foot cable. Now these things are rated for like uh, 4,000 pounds. And so what I'll do is I'll throw the cable up into the limbs and then I'll be able to tie the come along into a tree out here. So I'll have a mechanical advantage. So I'll be able to put tension on it to make sure that I got it at least trying to come the way I want it to go. And now I gotta be safe about this. I don't wanna get in front of the tree as it's falling. So that's why I got the wedges. So I'm, I'm trying to think of dual purposes here. I'll put tension on it. That way, even if it does decide to try to fall back into the road, 
the cable will stop it from falling and I can give it a little bit more tension until I can get that tree to just come up where it feels like it's going to fall. Then I can safely leave the area, come back over, get my wedges, do the wedge thing, and then it should just fall right over. So the whole point of this video is don't be in a hurry to learn new things. I've seen so many people in my life just jump into something and they have no idea what they're doing and, and before you know it they got a big mess all i want to do is study right now and every time i learn something new i come out and i look at the tree to, to apply this new thing when you start your adventure whatever it is study 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 i even talked about that in a nomadic lifestyle be overly prepared so you can expect the worst and hope for the best thanks for watching